5 Best Places to Visit in Mindanao Sohitan Cave and Magpipung Kopul as Sayarjao, Surjao del Norte Surfing enthusiasts definitely have Sayarjao on their top list to kiss the waves with their surfboards. It is considered to be the surfing capital of the Philippines. When the wild waves calm down, those who enjoy moments of reflection and solace would really appreciate it. Parties at beaches are not a thing here and there are no loud noises so you can really just focus on the sounds the waves create. There is so much to see in Sayorjao aside from its breathtaking beaches. The Sohatan Cave can be explored by renting a kayak and nature lovers can indulge on its tunnel with stalactites, bats and wild orchids surrounding it. In addition to that, there is also stingless jellyfish swimming on its clear waters. Another attraction here is the Magpipung Kopul at Pilar that is an hour drive from General Luna. You'll be amazed on the rock formations within the island while feeling the sea water. Mount Hibok Kibok Ardent Hot Spring and so. Nino Cold Spring in Camigan. Beaches almost always make it to someone's bucket list. Not to mention white sand beaches. Camigan Island has become popular to beach lovers as well as it has white sand bars and that untouched vibe. Aside from the beaches, one of the popular attractions here is the So. Nino Cold Spring. The summer heat can become too overwhelming and it will be worth it to dive into the cool running water here. Although during the night, it can become too cold and a hot spring could be the best place to go to relax and enjoy the island. Mount Hibok Kibok Ardent Hot Spring is one of the most popular hot springs in Camigan and it is almost always included on tourist packages in this island. If you prefer to visit just the hot spring, you can always hire a Habble Habble motorcycle that is around PHP 8100 to drop you off there. The Kak Park and Beach Resort in Dapit, Zambonga. It's always invigorating to become one with nature. The Kak Park and Beach Resort has a rich marine life, and has a diverse flora and fauna around it. It is located at Burji, Tag Island. It is just a 30-minute drive from Dipalog City. The resort, aside from giving the best view of the beach, prepares themed feasts and performances for tourists. In addition to that, they have suites and bungalows to offer for rest and relaxation after a long day at the beach and at the attractions surrounding this resort. They also have 9 dining venues and a 24-hour cafe for those late night goers. Attractions near the resort are Rizal Shrine, Dapan River, Holy Rosary Cathedral, and Aligai and Silly Naz Islands. Bongao Peak, Tai Tai. Being at 300 meters above sea level, Bongao Peak or Bud Bongao for the locals, is considered the highest peak in the Philippines. You can have a great view of Sabah, Malaysia here. As part of the ecotourism venues within the country, it has become one of the most visited places in Tai Tai because it's also near Sangasang the airport. Mountain hiking is a popular activity here and you can visit tampats or hut-like structures meant for praying and reflection near the peak. Bongao Peak has a cultural importance for both Muslims and Christians. Aside from being a sacred burial site for Muslim imams, leaders, it is also a monkey sanctuary. It is strongly suggested to hire a tour guide during your hike, and to bring a bunch of bananas to feed the monkeys along the way. Kage White Water Rafting at Kage in the Oro Kage White Water Rafting is for those who seek an adventurous way of exploring the stretch of Kage in the Oro River. Kage is an outfitter, hosting water rafting for beginners and advanced outgoers. They use state-of-the-art rafts for the takers that ensure their safety. Plus, they have experienced guides every session. For beginners, they let rafts go through class 1-2 rapids while class 3-4 rapids awaits those who have more experience with this type of thrilling outdoor activity. Aside from this, you can do river trekking and caving as part of the package.